Welcome Aries. We're going to go ahead and see what is the urgent message that you need to hear right now. Remember my lovely Aries, if the messages that come through do not resonate with you, not to worry. It's just not meant to be your um, reading at this time and you can go ahead and look at your moon rising and Venus signs as they could have more relevant information for you. I'm going to start off with your two oracle cards and then we're going to get much more clarification and insight with the tarot. Right, so the main messages that are coming through is invention. Now, invention for in this in this context, guys, is it's about being creative, about taking a clean slate on something and inventing something in your life that you want to bring about. Okay, so what do I mean by inventing? It's, you know, if you have a dream that you've been holding on to for a long time and nothing has been happening. Okay, I'm going to give you examples. Just say you've wanted to get a promotion at work. Okay, and you've gone about it the traditional way and nothing has happened. When the invention card comes through, it's telling you now it's time to do something different. It's time to take a clean slate, that means a new way of doing it, okay, and go about looking and bringing about this in something that you haven't considered before. Because what is an invention? An invention is something brand new that hasn't been done before for you, right? So if you have some, you're somebody who has never tried, for example, journaling, you can start journaling about how you want this promotion to come about, what you want from the promotion, how, what, what would it feel like, what would it look like, what will you earn. It could be meditating, visualizing. It's about doing something that you have not done before to bring it in. And then you're being told at this time, you also very much, it would be a very good idea to really work with your intuition. The me big message coming through right now is that your intuition is not going to let you down on certain areas or aspects that are coming up at this time. So Aries, if something comes up and it doesn't feel right, trust your intuition. This is your inner child letting you know, mm -mm, it's not right. If it feels good, it's good. If it doesn't, it's not. Don't second guess yourself. Right, so what we're going to do now is we're just going to pull some tarot to get some further insight about what um, other or additional messages we can get regarding this ur urgent message coming through. That's a lovely card to drop out. Ten of cups. So that tells us happily ever after. So there's going to be coming in quickly. I'm going to got the four of swords we've got the seven of pentacles oh lovely the nine of pentacles and the last one wow that looks so nice okay so Aries what I want you to know is that um there's definitely a, this is definitely the most urgent message coming through for you is regarding doing something that you haven't done before in terms of bringing something about um you know, it just gets with, with the Four of Swords and the Seven of Pentacles. It's about look, looking what you've done previously. Okay, look, look what you have done previously. Review it. Are you happy with the results? If you would like better results, if you would like things to be different, it's time to go deep, go within. Now, this for me, in this reading, Aries, it's just about taking time to reflect. Taking time, this is also a, a gut reviewing, going over what's happened and what is your next step. Give yourself some time. For me, this for me, like in, as you can see in this position, it's very much about meditating, visualizing, imagining. This, all of this raises vibration. You know, if we can just, if for some people it's really very easy and very natural to, to visualize, it's just like playing a movie in your head about what you would like this wish or dream or whatever it is that you're trying to bring into fruition to be and really get into it, that you can almost feel it, taste it, smell it, like all the senses are involved and bring all aspects into it. Bring all the senses into it. 
because when you live it in that moment, it's like it's happening now and it raises the vibration. It makes the possibility higher. And we've been told that when you start doing things differently, right, bringing this in whatever it is differently, look at this, you get your happily ever after and it moves in quickly. You're going to then, like I said, this is raises vibration and what that happens is then energy changes and starts, time starts to move quicker. Things start to happen at a much faster pace and you move at a much faster pace to this happily ever after, whatever this happily ever after is for you. It, you know, your, this is your specific dream. It could be the, you know, the, the happy family in the, with a beautiful house and the garden and the, the little stream running through it. It could be work, it could be money. It, this is this happily ever after is specific to your dream and your circumstance, but it does tell us that when you start doing this, when you start doing something different in terms of invention, invention and bringing it about in a different way, you speed up the whole timing process and you move quickly towards it. And you're being told it's going to be so good for you no matter what you choose to do. And guys, there's so many different options. You just find the one that fits and suits you best, okay? And it's going to be beautiful because we've got here the nine of pentacles. This is somebody, this is how you are presenting at the end of the day. Somebody who is completely content and happy with the outcome. No financial worries whatsoever. In, in, in terms of emotion, content, happy, secure, at peace, looking good, feeling good. I love that. I absolutely love that. So what I want to do for you now is just pull one more message in terms of this urgent message that you need to hear right now. And we've got judgment. This is your time. This is your time to stand up and hear the call of doing something different so that you can bring about this fast moving change towards your happily ever after. Temperance, uh, the, the, there is, you know, you've been patient up until now, but if you want to move energy, if you want to move time, it's time to get going and work. Work with what whatever comes naturally to you, whatever fits naturally to you in terms of um, working with, with, with spirit. In, in getting this um, happily ever after. Two of Pentacles, actually this Two of Pentacles is very nice here because it tells me that you can do more than one thing. You, if you love, guys, if you love painting, you can paint that you're happily ever after and you can meditate or you can journal and visualize. What You can do prayers, you can do whatever you want. Okay, it's about raising up the, the energy so that you can start feeling possibility coming in. Lovely reading. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel and give it the thumbs up. And I'm sending you all lots of love.